Hi everybody. Okay, so this is um, a real overview of um, aerobic respiration. So we're just looking at the overview, like the big picture, so we can understand how everything fits together before we look at the detail. Okay, so first of all, just the idea that with aerobic respiration, the whole point of it is to take energy and fuel. Now, that fuel we usually think of as glucose, but it can be other things as well because we're able to uh, respire, for example, fats and proteins. But if we just start with uh, saying it's glucose, so the glucose, which is our fuel, we're going to take the energy that's locked up, that chemical potential energy in the glucose bonds, and we want to end up with energy in the bonds of an ATP molecule instead. So the reason that we're trying to do that is because, well, firstly, glucose is a very stable molecule. It's quite hard to break it apart, so we need a, a, a series of steps to be able to um, get the energy that's locked up in those chemical bonds. Um, and also, we need to make sure that when we release the energy from uh, the glucose, the cells need to be able to use that energy whenever and wherever they want. They might not want to use that energy immediately in the same place. So by locking the energy from the glucose up into an ATP molecule, this ATP molecule can be moved around and used in different places in a cell or in the body um, to do specific work at various times. So this is all about how we make ATP molecules. So the first stage of aerobic respiration, well, the first stage of respiration is called glycolysis. Um, and glycolysis takes a glucose molecule and turns it into something called pyruvate. When this happens, reduced NAD and a small amount of ATP are produced. Now the pyruvate is produced in um, the cytoplasm. But then, once it's made, so glycolysis happens in the cytoplasm and that pyruvate then moves into the mitochondrial matrix which is where the link reaction happens. The link reaction ends up with something called acetyl coenzyme A. And the acetyl coenzyme A is then the first thing that um, is the first part of the Krebs cycle. The link reaction produces also some reduced NAD. The Krebs cycle also produces reduced NAD and reduced FAD and some ATP, but again, only a very small amount. OK, so we've had these three stages of uh, respiration so far. We've had glycolysis taking place in the cytoplasm, then the link reaction and the Krebs cycle taking place in the matrix of the mitochondria. The most important thing from all of these is that we now have reduced hydrogen carriers. So they have all now um, got hydrogen and they can take that hydrogen to the electron transport chain. The electron transport chain is a series of uh, protein complexes and as you can see it's found on this membrane. This is the inner mitochondrial membrane. So the electron transport chain, there'd be lots of them happening all the way around the whole of this inner mitochondrial membrane. So our reduced hydrogen carriers trans get transported to the electron transport chain and they donate their hydrogen in the electron transport chain. When that happens, they get oxidized to NAD and FAD, which can then be recycled and go back to glycolysis, the link reaction and Krebs cycle, which means that we can always generate more of our reduced hydrogen carriers. Okay, so this is like a big, like big cycle. Okay, so we then need oxygen. And oxygen comes from outside the cell, comes to the cytoplasm, then it will diffuse into the mitochondria. And oxygen is used for oxidative phosphorylation. So the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation are, are, are linked processes. The end result of them is that they're using the hydrogen from our hydrogen carriers to generate ATP. And a large amount of ATP is generated from oxidative phosphorylation. These stages here, only a few molecules of ATP get generated. We're talking about sort of 30, 32 molecules of ATP get produced from oxidative phosphorylation. 
Okay, and that's it. That's our overview of respiration. And now you need to go and have a look at the details of each stage. Thank you very much.